How's it going everybody? Day 10 of the VR workout journey. Thanks for joining me. All right, throw the fight. Um, I can never get the scale right. I don't know what to do. I always have to try to get it and then pop over again and test everything, all the angles again. All right, I think that's basically straight. All right, I'm starving. It's uh, 1.26 in the morning on uh, May 12th. So again, day 10. Uh, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm still broke. Still financially struggling. It sucks. Still depressed. Still feeling hopeless. Went to the went to Wawa before. Got uh, coffee and a sandwich and some fries. And on the way there, on the radio was Pulp's "Common People." Love that song. Very important indie song. And on the way back was Soccer Mommy's "Shotgun." Another song I love. Love that band. Tremendously. I wish I was in a band like Soccer Mommy. So, hey, if you like Soccer Mommy too, let's start a Soccer Mommy band, yeah? Let's do that. Awesome. Um, cool. All right, let's do a warm-up. So, yeah, I just get a little depressed when I hear all these awesome songs and I come home times, to no inspiration at all times, and musically. Say, you must obey. Good luck I think, to both of you. I think this is echoing. Hold on, I gotta turn these speakers down. I gotta walk off the thing and turn this down. Um, yeah, I just get really depressed hearing all this uh, awesome music <laughs> that I feel like I'm never gonna be able to do um, musically because I don't know anybody that's into that kind of stuff. So if you're into that stuff and you happen to be a female vocalist or a musician who loves you know, female vocal music, which is you know, basically the best stuff, um, let me know. It'd be fun to do some music together, if possible, even remotely from across planet Earth. All right, here we go. Let's kick George's ass. Let's kick his ass good and nice and powerfully and just knock his ugly ass right on the floor. I got the fan going. Hopefully my lenses won't fog up too much. Hopefully OBS won't fight me to the death here. Now, George is hitting me, and I'm getting a lot of instant black screen. I don't know if that's good. Can't be hitting me that hard yet. I don't know why that's happening. I'm going to knock his ass out. Get an uppercut. Crosses. Some jabs. So, yeah, still didn't weigh myself. I've been doing this for 10 days. I'm sure I'm heavier than I think I am. So, we'll see. We'll see. What's up? We'll see how it goes. Once I'm feeling, if I can remember to weigh myself as soon as I wake up, before I eat, maybe that'll be good. Got to have personal accountability, which is the whole reason I'm doing this. Keeping a, keeping track of trying to stay in shape, trying to get in shape, and uh, you know, just good. Way to burn some cardio, you know, all that good stuff. The other night, oh, I got him. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the other night seven, when I was really eight. venting, I think it was two nights ago. Why are you looking at me, coach or ref? He's looking right at me. Ladies and gentlemen, I think he going to the I scorecards, the judges have like determined by unanimous decision, your winner is the red corner. Hey, what a surprise. Um, so yeah, the other night it was great because I TKO'd um, the first you know, proper opponent and then the other guy. I'm amazed. Let's see if I can get another TKO in the first round. I was raging, raging. With all the stuff I was running about. Tell you Let's see things. if I can kick this guy's ass times, to the floor. What I Let's see. Let's Feeling pissed time. again. Every time I see that guy's face, I just want to flatten him. I don't know, he's got an angry look. It's very appealing. Punching him in the face, getting his face red, getting him all riled up, black eyes, cut face. You know, just a rewarding type of opponent. 
I don't know. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm just saying. It's good stuff. Ooh, big face wide open. Red. He's looking dizzy already. Kind of. I have a feeling we're going to get that TKO just like the other night. This shit felt good. As angry as I was. It's dizzy again. Getting him good face shots. See, I don't know why, you know, going back to the songs before, I don't know why I get so damn sad hearing all this stuff on the radio. You know, wasted dreams, I guess. You know, bands that I wish I was in. You know, it's like I love it. It's inspiring, but at the same time, it just kills my heart. I'm like, oh cool, there's Soccer Mommy on the radio again. You know, amazing songs. Would love to drum for her. Play bass. Live in Nashville. Be close to the action. Certainly ain't shit happened in Philly. Or the Philly Burbs. Nothing. That's where I am. If there were more, more things happening around here, it would be a lot more inspiring place to live. Artistically and musically, but nope. Also... If I'm going to vent about Philly, I might as well vent about Philly. There's a lot of uh, gatekeeping in the music scene here. A lot of elitism. You know, cool kids only. I think that's bullshit, man. Everything has changed so much. Nothing against Philly as a city in general, but in general, a lot of the people I've met, a lot of self-serving interests people maybe it's just people today i don't know a lot of self-serving bullshit though always was nice to people never asked for too many favors you know impossible to get shows by and large make friends you know that's why i always like to use youtube and just earth as a promotional vehicle marketing tool because certainly ain't shit happening locally. That's for sure. What are your experiences? Are you a Philly independent musician? Have you had a lot of luck? What was your... What was your secret? How did you get Philly to work in your favor? You know. How has it been good to you? Yeah, for me, like I said, not a lot. A lot more opportunities just... Looking at the big picture, Earth, YouTube, Spotify, Bandcamp, you know, when it comes to, you know, artistic endeavors. I'm already getting so out of breath. I'd love to knock this guy out again. Yeah, like I said, nothing against Philly. Good people here, by and large. But uh, like I said, gatekeeping in the music scene. I've lived here from 2004 to now, going on 18 years. Basically haven't done shit. It's just a weird city. Even weirder with the pandemic, but certainly weird. I almost wish I lived anywhere else. You know, I just feel like out northwest would be a kind of a good music scene, more accepting. I don't know. Like I said, I just feel like I'm not part of the cool kids in the Philly area. You know, a lot of gatekeeping, a lot of elitism. I don't know. I could be wrong. You know, again, if you're from Philly or the suburbs, what's your experience with the music? You know, with your music here. Or if you're from Jersey, just outside of Philly. What do you feel about Philly? I often feel like I just 
should be anywhere else but where I am. I just always feel that way. Nothing ever feels right at the right place. You know what I mean? I feel like an alien all the time. Musically, artistically, location. Nothing feels like home. I always constantly feel displaced. I don't know what that is. It's gotta be something. It's got to be something. No place feels like home. Well, more, no places feel like home ever since my dad died. That's for sure. But seriously, I just don't, nothing feels like home anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Uh. Uh. Probably won that just by Ladies judge. And gentlemen, going to the scorecards, the judges have determined by unanimous decision your winner is the red corner. Thank you. Oh, God, I've probably only been working out eight minutes, right? Let me guess. Uh, 11 minutes, 29, 30 seconds. Oh, God. Ooh, man. Just airing out the goggles here a little bit. Whew. I got to get one of those little, you know, fans that attach to like the top of the thing there. I think that would be so helpful. It's constantly mega fog. It's crazy. So yeah, um, wow, there's my core temp. We're already pushing. I'm looking at the details here. Yeah, we're up there. We're way the hell up there. What's that say, 82? It's pretty hard to read, but um, let me minimize OBS. 84, 83 with the orange numbers. Weird. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. The computer is running a little bit better Saturday night, Sunday. Not tonight. You know, and I was doing a blade and sorcery thing from last night. I pushed 100, I think, on all the cores except for one. Wasn't good. In any case, got to get some thermal paste. See what my CPU is looking like. You know. We'll see. We'll see. You can clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck to both of them. My favorite opponent. So yeah, it shouldn't be running this hot. I know. I've checked some Reddit threads. You know, definitely is running hotter than it should be. But we're gonna get that taken care of thanks to my awesome roommate and friend Derek. We'll get it. We'll get it working. Main thing is I can't be pushing 80 playing these VR games, especially something as lightweight as Thrill of the Fight, which is pretty lightweight. Um, it shouldn't be going over 80 Celsius. So that reminds me, what about you? How's your PC running? If you do uh, Oculus Quest 2 virtual desktop, which is what I'm doing, how you running? How's your temps? How's, uh, how's everything? My specs are in the description. I'm on an RTX 3070. He's getting me good with some side body shots. He always does. But I just hope I can wear him down a little bit. Like I was kicked his face the other night, man. I fucked him up. I had so much rage. Felt so good. Oh, I think I got an uppercut. That was good. Damn, bro. Dick. Oh, 
God, it wears me out. Oh, just punching a little bit. 15 minutes of a workout. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't even reached phase two of my workout stuff. You know, adding P90X weights to it. I'm not even there yet. Just this for now. Still feel so worn out, man. 15 minutes of fighting these assholes wears me out. I hate it. I wish I could block this dick. You know, I got my fist up. I don't understand why it doesn't fucking block, man. See, it looks like he just misses there. That blocked. Ah, oh, prick. Cheap shots. Anyway, airing out a little bit. Hold on. So, all the shirts I've been wearing so far, again, I do not work for this company. But hey, it'd be great to get some free shirts from you guys. $6shirts.com. A couple years ago, right when the pandemic hit, I got like 10 of these fuckers. And then somewhere in late 2020, I got like 10 more. You get a discount if you buy 10. But uh, wearing this proudly to support my lady, friends, females out there, streamers. Gamers, musicians, of course. We can do it, and we will. As I said in other videos, George Carlin said, these fuckers aren't pro-life. They're anti-woman. That's what they are. They're anti-woman. He said it 25 fucking years ago. They're anti-woman. So, I got your back, ladies. Femmes, females, you know, whatever. I don't want to get into a political fucking pronoun debate about anything. I'm just saying, I got your back. We can do it. Because fuck these fucking idiot Republicans and all this Nazi bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? For real. It ain't 1950. We're fucking sick of it. I'm sick of it. You guys must be planning to burn shit down entire cities I know I know it's no wonder you're listening to all this murder podcast right ladies you're plotting well maybe you're not doing that but certainly you are angry you are angry and I'm not making fun of you I'm angry too I'm proud of all you ladies for fighting the good fight, always, just as I hope you're proud of us allies fighting the good fight for you, because the shit is just old, man, fucking Handmaid's Tale shit, oh, I think I'm going to knock his ass out, look, he's going to vote for, he's going to make abortion illegal, this bastard, oh, ho, ho. that's right, dick. You voted wrong. Four, you voted five, wrong, you cocksucker. Six, seven, you fucking Republican asshole. You voted wrong, bro. Wrong. You don't fuck with the ladies. The ladies are fucking furious. Like me, punching you. That's how they feel right now. All the ladies are pissed. And I'm feeling the rage for you ladies. No. Ah. Oh, you're pissed. I got you. This fucker tried to make it illegal. Right here. This guy. This guy voted to make it illegal. He thinks he's got control over your bodies, ladies. Oh, you enjoying this fight now? Yeah? Yeah. I sure as fuck am. i knock this ignorant asshole out. On the ground. Later, dude. You ignorant woman hater, Republican fucking prick. All right, catching my breath. Airing my headset. Airing it out. Uh. Trying to defog it. Oh, that felt good though. 
knocking his ass out. I know which way he voted. This fucker's anti-history, aren't you? Going against history. You're on the wrong side of history, aren't you, prick? Well, actually, you know what's kind of funny, too? You know, not for nothing. I'm just, I'm just pointing this out. He is the priest. They call his nickname the priest in the throw of the fight stats. He's the priest. He's the Jesus guy. So kind of feels good knocking his ass out because you know he's probably anti-woman. He thinks he has the rights to tell you what the fuck to do to your, with your body. But guess what? He doesn't. None of them do. None of them. None. Frick. You anti-woman asshole. I'll kick your fucking teeth in. Come on. Come on, asshole. You hate women? Yeah. You hate women? You get off thinking that's cool? Huh? Do you? Do you? Do you, prick? Yeah. You want to make abortion illegal, you prick? Oh, you're going down. You're going down, bro. You're going down. Ha-ha. <laughs> One, two... That's the rage coming out, motherfucker. Blue wave. Blue wave. Blue wave. Register to vote. Register. Don't wait until it's too late. Register. Come on. Come on. It's time. Blue wave. Fuck this shit, man. You woman hating asshole. Woman hater. Ugh. Trick. Uh. Damn it. Damn it. I better win with this judge shit. Uh. God, the clock is crawling, crawling, losing momentum. Oh, he took it all out of me in that second round, man. You prick. I still got rage, though, because you're voting. Because you think you got control over a woman's body, don't you, prick? Yeah, you don't got shit. Asshole. Yeah, I know he's just a character on screen, but it puts you in the zone. Oh God, I'm so exhausted. Can't imagine what you ladies are feeling. You, you guys must be so fucking, just literally ready to burn entire cities down. Just like how you felt with all the marches. I knocked him down Ladies twice. And gentlemen, if it's a draw or if this guy the wins, judges have determined by unanimous decision, your winner is the red corner. Thank you. So yeah, rage comes out in a good place. Knock his ass down. Okay, God, I feel pukey. It's okay. That's what this does to you. Until I develop a little more strength and stamina, endurance. This ain't drumming. I can drum for a while. I don't get tired with that. This? Holy shit. All right, what do we got? 25 minutes? All right, that might do me for today. I can see the, the damn core temp. Looks like shit, man. I got all orange numbers right there. Was it 91? Fuck. I reached 100. Gotta get this damn shit fixed. It was working fine for like three or four days. All of a sudden, here we are. That's why I got this. That's why I got this window up above my head. Ah, thermal paste. You know, AIO cooler. Sucks, man. Sucks. Never ends. I'm trying to get a computer working better. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Thanks for listening to the event. Of course, women, ladies, I always have your back. All you guys and boys out there watching this, if you like this, me kicking this at, kicking these dudes' asses and you know venting about it come on have your ladies back seriously this is bullshit man 
It's over. This is not 1950 anymore. This is not the fucking Handmaid's Tale. She didn't write that book as a, you know, non-fiction fucking encyclopedia, okay? It was supposed to be a fictional story. But all the breadcrumbs that she laid are totally coming true. You know, all that shit leads you right to the infestation of animals, you know, feasting on rights, I guess. I don't know what the hell. I can't think of metaphors and similes and poetic terminology while I'm my heart's beating a mile a minute and let's kick this asshole's ass. The Raging Reverend Gene Priest. Three rounds of retribution. Three rounds of taking women's rights away. Seriously. Guys, boys, if you're watching this, seriously, adult, grandpa, fucking father, uncle, little brother, younger brother, older brother, stepbrother, doesn't fucking matter. Have your ladies' backs. Have the backs of your women, all right? Seriously. Fuck this shit. Don't let this shit... This has just gone on too long, seriously. I'm just raging. I'm pissed about this shit. You know? If you want a shirt like this, get it from $6shirts.com. Again, I'm not... I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by fucking anybody. I do all these videos, talk about all these products all the time, bought with my hard-earned money. Nobody's ever sponsored my ass. So, yeah. Right? Okay? We can do it. Anyway. Water time. Uh, maybe I'll do another workout. I don't know. I'm tired. It's almost 2 o'clock. I'm still starving, but I'll try to get some more shit in. All right. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Trying to reach 10,000 far above way above and it'd be awesome to have you along for the ride if you like this video give it a thumbs up please you know and let's all stick together we're all friends we're all on the right side of history aren't we right are you come on i am you better be all right i love you stay safe stay healthy stay cool be kind always have the backs of your ladies all right i'll see you in the next video